Hello and welcome to Real Hi-Fi Help. Let's talk about the end destination of high-end cables. This is of course my opinion. <clears throat> my opinion is a bit biased because I own AudioNote gear after having yeah, heard basically most things on the market. So I've heard basically most things on the market in some extreme conditions and I am going to give you the, uh, the, the full truth on high-end cables. I will recognize the two highest end cables for you and I will explain exactly why they are the best. And I will also explain to you the, uh, the context of how they become the best. So just to give you a quick, I wouldn't say warning, but I'm going to look at this cable here and I'm going to look at that cable here. And I'm going to try and do it um, for about five to ten minutes times. So just try and listen to the entire video. This is uh, very important. So I would say that this here, the AudioNote ISIS cable, is the best copper cable uh, in the world. Simply because it's the most fully natural, full-fleshed, integrated cable. It's all about the human quality and, and realness. Um, it's not about this hyper detail where you cut out the uh, the sound and you have the detail on the surface level. So that's basically it. You, you can read a bit more about it here. Um, but I have to also say that even though it is the best cable, it won't fit a lot of other systems in the world that aren't audio note it might seem a bit too original um so th this is truly a really good cable uh, i would suggest trying it before you um you buy it it either it's either going to sound really good really awesome or a tiny bit um like it's a bit boring, a bit heavy, or per perhaps a bit dark um, if you have a lower level system. So you just have to find that religion of, of sound. This isn't going to fit all the sound religions in the world. Uh, you just simply can't satisfy all the systems in the world with this type of cable, even though I think that it is the very, very best cable. So yeah, it is basically the, uh, uh, the LX... 96 cable that I was talking about before only difference is that this thing is a lot more intense a lot more resolution a lot more powerful and and yeah it's 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 also one of the most expensive cables so it costs like 170 pounds for half a meter so that's a lot of money but still it's quite cheap compared to uh, the most uh, expensive cables out there and uh, I would say that it's it's actually quite a bit better than the most expensive cables because the most exp expensive cables in general try to impress you more and do certain things, certain things in the structure to um, to hype it up, to, to make it seem as if it's better. But that's just my opinion. Um, I feel that um, you just can't really go wrong with, with this cable. It just... The, the volume stability, the, the smash factor, the resolution, the personality, um, just everything, especially the human aspect of the sound and the instrument and the voices, just on a, on a, on a very, almost, a, it is basically the best copper cable in the world. I, I still believe that, having heard some, some really expensive cables. Um, but of course we have something that beats it and this is like <coughs> the very best silver cable in the world and it without a doubt beats the the copper cable it makes the copper cable seem heavy dark um a bit soft uh and just not fully um revealing and it also makes it seem like a lower class of of warmth even though it it, it really isn't but uh, this is like the ultimate high level deep warm sound it's it's the silver cable from audio note and of course when you have that you need like a, a mid to high class audio note system or else it just becomes almost irrelevant but you could in theory use it on a system that isn't audio note and make it sound good um but again you have to test that uh, to to see how that reacts with that system so this is all about 
basically the same things uh, like with this cable, just deeper, just much deeper, more detail, much more of everything. And and yeah, um, some people will also not uh, like this type of sound because they want a sound that is more boosted, more hyped up and simply has more bling that will somehow seem faster or do a certain type of detail. So this really belongs in an audio notes level three uh, top system set up in a proper way, more like a level five system, you know, it just, it's just the most pure human type of thing that, that exists. And some people won't uh, like that. They, they will, um, for some reason, uh, they will want to hear a more uh, biased type of sound, and that's perfectly fine. We have other brands for, for those people, and um, they can then get that type of sound that they want. No problems. Um, but, but yeah, <clears throat> when you talk about uh, like the ultra, most ultra clear combined with the most ultra natural type of sound without being harsh, um, without having any fakeness, or any priority, I, I would say that this is like the end destination in, in hi-fi. And I don't think we're going to beat this the next 50 or 100 years. We might have a version that has more threads in it. But personally, it's almost impossible getting that amount of threads on uh, banana plugs or spade plugs. Because then you have to change like the size of the plugs. And then you have a, like a huge weight pulling on your speaker. So uh, I just don't think it can get better than this. So it, we basically have the best silver in the world. We have this uh, silver lacquer that they have on this, this soft screen, soft outside. And we have a different type of thickness would help. And that helps a lot. You, you wouldn't think that that helps, but that actually helps a lot with it. But there's notice that there isn't any silver coating there isn't any mixing of metals and because of that you don't get this hyper effect where it's t trying to blow you away and go 200 kilometers an hour uh, constantly it has this just normal human all the way through type of character where it listens to the type of music that you have and it adapts uh, itself to that personality that artist that you're listening to so this is like you know, th this is like from, from a different era in, in, in human history. Um, so that's what Audio Note do. They, they do this original type of authentic sound. And, you know, for people that, that can afford the, the most expensive cables, I recommend having an Audio Note system and then having these cables on all uh, parts of the chain. Because an, an Audio Note, top Audio Note system is a bit empty in sound if you don't have something really connecting all the stuff together. So don't think that you can just buy an audio note system and run with normal cables in a normal room with, with, with another brand of speakers. You know, you, you need the entire thing to come together to, to make it that uh, top level sound that you just can't get anywhere else, in my opinion. Um, and, and, and yeah, the, the, this, the way that it releases the energy is like nothing I've ever um, heard before. Um, there are a lot of really impressive cables, but you always get a sense of it. I wouldn't say censoring the music, but it, it kind of holds a bit back, keeping it a tiny bit safe. Or it just goes in this like hyper mode where it just goes nuts all the time. So I feel that this is like the ultimate slam, ultimate grunt, ultimate resolution, ultimate 3D, everything. It's just in the most human original form. So don't feel that you're missing out on anything. The, this is truly it, the cable that beats them all. So um, yeah, and look at the price, just crazy. £2,000 for a meter. You still have to find plugs, uh, get a guy to put them on. Um, and you need like three or four meters on, on each side. So you've basically got something that costs more than a um, Volkswagen up car in the end when you're done. It's more like buying two. Um, so uh, <laughs> that that is insane. 
but for people that can afford it definitely do that it's just yeah it, it's just the best and and yeah um this is the best speaker cable it's the best rca cable it's the best power cable in the world i'm pretty sure that you can use this as a power cable you have to check that of course with the with the dealer if it's legal also with the other cable but again i wish i had this as a power cable in my system my god power cables are probably the most um efficient cable that will change your sound for the least amount of money so if i could use this just purely as power cables i would and i would have it in in all of my gear but but yeah that belongs in a, in a world where i'm a millionaire so <laughs> it's probably never gonna happen and um yeah i really feel that this is i i feel that it's not really gonna change for the next 50 or 100 years i still think that this or another version of this in the future is, is, is going to be the best in the world and that's assuming that audio note doesn't run out of silver because you, you never know if uh we suddenly one day have a lack of of, of silver because it, it is so expensive um, simply because there isn't a, a lot of silver and the audio note silver is a very um, exclusive mine that only audio note has um, resources to, to getting I think it's together with Condor and um, the way that they process it that that slow processing and and the fact that it's the only natural silver uh, in the world a lot of companies uh, will say that that i'm lying but it, i know this from talking to a lot of engineers um uh, it, it you can truly hear that there is something totally different about this type of silver making instruments voices just come out in a completely different way that that is just so much more uh, grounded and, and real in, in sound and, and, not, and also more natural and, and deep um, so yeah uh, this is it this is the end destination but um, remember this is for people wanting the the ultimate original natural sound so it has basically all the stuff that the other cables do um, but the thing is that it's just so sincere that it hits your very soul and not your brain. A lot of the other cables, they have a tendency of, of doing a certain type of detail that makes your brain very uh, active uh, and wanting more, like triggering all the, the dopamine levels. And uh, to some degree, I really like that. We all do. But it's just not a long-lasting effect, especially not when you don't have it on, on all parts of the chain. So um yeah that that's what most cable manufacturers do they create a sort of a analytical fake boosted cool type of sound where they just take some parts of the uh, the music structure and they highlight it so they go like with the guitar and bring it a bit more forward or the drums are big and bring it a bit more forward and it kind of when you do that you lose some of that naturality and that that cohesiveness in in the uh, the sound stage where everything kind of is, is glued together and, and made as one so you will notice that with a lot of these high-end uh, cables everything is artificially separated making the sound stage seem a bit more flat than it really is where um, audio note has a tendency of doing the opposite bringing it together and making it seem more as as one so um, yeah those are some interesting uh, observations and um these are like top models. If you take the top models from these brands here, you will find some, some of the best cables on the market. And um, I feel that if you're not going with AudioNote, you should seriously consider some of these brands and, and especially um, their top models because that's where they really, really, really shine. So um, there are also some other cable manufacturers on the market. I deliberately haven't um mention them because because there just are so so many more there's at least 10 more on that list that are really i would consider also top level but i just haven't um heard enough of their models and i haven't heard a lot of the uh, newer models to really to be able to generalize it's it's difficult to to remember 
cables exactly how they sound because you have to listen to them not only on just one system but a lot of other systems and you have to kind of um, own them to to truly know how they sound like so this is like what i consider having uh, uh, remembered all of these uh, different types of sounds this is what i consider to be like the most relevant stuff after audio note if, if you can't get audio note then I would say this, and especially uh, Tara Labs and uh, Kondo, oh, Kondo um, are, are, are are really, 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 really good. But price-wise, yeah, uh, I would probably say that uh, price-wise that the the Audio Quest ones, the top ones, are perhaps giving you more for the money. But I, I think. You have to kind of decide that for yourself. It depends very much on your system, so I can't really generalize too much. I just want to give you the uh, the um, the choice of, of kind of seeing through all of this. So, and generally we in the, we're in that twenty five to one hundred and fifty k type of of cables. You know the most expensive cables in the world. So, and I still think that when we're up in that class, audio know can easily. Uh, be a good value <laughs> option even though we're talking about these crazy types of, of prices you know um audio note still seems pretty cheap compared to like for example Terra labs and their 10 20 30 thousand uh, dollar um uh, speaker cables you know so yeah i feel that you guys should try and, and recognize the game that that's going on here that's been going on for actually quite a quite a lot of years and that's the fact that there will always be some kind of a, a, a marketing stunt kind of thing where people think that we have to talk about fancy rhodium uh, plugs micro nanometer this and that the fastest cables in the world OFC OCC structure and putting silver plated um, making silver plated cables or gold plated cables um, it's not about that that of course makes a huge difference to the sound so they're not lying to you they're definitely not lying to you but it's besides the point it's how they differentiate themselves from from the competitor it's how they create create their unique type of sound and trust me it does create a unique type of sound and priority but i feel that there's no focus on true originality true naturalness and you i think that you only really get it with audio note and um but yeah let's say you don't have audio note system then you might easily get a better sound performance from these other cables so it it's it's again a truth that goes in both directions so this could easily sound these things could easily sound better on your system if you don't have an audio note gear so that's also something to take into consideration. So um, basically, audio note, the most original, pure type of sound, less is more, has everything, doesn't try to overdo anything or overemphasize anything. And again, one big reason why audio note wins is because they're able to do the one thing that no one else in the industry is able to do, and that's have the same damn crystal copper or silver in all of their audio note gear i'm talking about cd players i'm talking about amps i'm talking about speakers and the cables and the plugs everything everything is the same with audio note and because of that then you start being able to access a certain type of language where you're digging deeper into the sound you're not just looking at the surface uh, detail you're going past that where you're having so much more substance in everything that you're listening to so so um yeah um the thing is also that when you when you have when you have a foreign cable on a system that doesn't match the rest of the system it's a bit like cheating because you have this surface detail where you're not uh, like i said before you're not digging fully into the sound and it will stick out in an artificial way, making it seem more impressive. So you have to look out for, for that. But basically, uh, when you do that, you get more quantity, uh, but it also reduces the quality. Th that's me generalizing. 
um, you have to find out for yourself what you think is the right thing. But uh, yeah, if I could, I would go with this. You know, I have to say that I've listened to this cable uh, a couple of times and it is so good that if I had this on all parts of my system, let's not talk about price. <laughs> if I had this on, on all parts of my system, it would feel as if I had the um, audio note Ongaku amplifier, that I went from Oto amplifier to Ongaku amplifier. That is how incredibly good these cables are. And uh, audio note Ongaku, in case you guys don't, uh, didn't notice it, but I think we're talking about around 100, 150,000 uh, US dollars. And, and it's like the officially considered, uh, you know, uh, best quality, um, most expensive amp, uh, integrated amp in the world. Um, but just just to tell you guys how, how big a deal uh, good cables really uh, make to the system. So, um, yeah, this is me logging out and uh, tell me about your uh, cable experiences, what you guys have um, experienced. I deliberately didn't put uh, CARDES or MIT cables on this because I don't feel that they belong here, even though MIT cables make some very impressive cables. Um, I just don't feel that they belong in, in the highest class. I feel that they probably belong in, in the mid class with, with the highest cables. Uh, but again, it, it's for some certain type of people that has a certain type of sound, like uh, Macintosh on Wilson speakers or Wilson speakers on spectral gear. So uh, yeah, just to satisfy those few of you. Okay, let's put uh, MIT cables here because it is a certain type of analytical sound and it gets up to a, a very high uh, level of, of, of sound, especially with their Oracle uh, models. So yeah, but, but Cardas, no, I'm not gonna put that here. It's extremely good f value for the money. Um, a lot like the, uh, the Audio Note LX96 model, uh, also like basically the best of, of, of the mid class. So I'm perhaps going to make a different video about that being more specific about that because Cardas makes some damn good cables for the for the price and they fit a lot of normal transistor gears. So yeah, those are my considerations. Remember to like and subscribe. Bye.